interview that everybody is talking about right now is the interview of Ms. Delson, Nana Kwame, at the Pat JC. 10 year old boy has been interviewed and the kind of things that he said, no, it has brought some kind of controversy and mixed feelings. Some people agree with him, some people don't agree with him, some people are asking, why should Ms. Bell try to, you know, bring up the boy in such a manner? Some people are calling it indoctrination and a whole lot. People are asking, is Ms. Bell proud of what her, her son is saying? The answer is clear from what Ms. Bell has been saying and some things that she has been sharing on her social media after this video got popular. So yes, right now, the Ms. Bell has reacted. And we'll bring it to you. I'm the headless YouTuber, this headless reactions. All right, all right. So this interview on Obi TV is trending and um, the 10 year old son of Ms. Bell has said a lot of interesting things. These are some of the things that he said. Watch this video. Uh, are you a Christian? No, please. Why? For that, I can't say. So you don't want to be a Christian? No. What do you want to be? So which, where do you fall? Where do you belong? The traditional belongings. So do you pour libation? Mm, yep, I do. At your age, you pour libation? Yes, I've done that before. To who? My ancestors. Your ancestors. <laughs> you believe in ghosts? Mm. Or ancestors? I believe in both. But you don't believe in Jesus Christ? No, I can't. You can't believe in Even Jesus Christ. Even if I see him standing here, I'll ask him so many questions, he can't answer. <laughs> Adipa, believe after death, where do we go to? I believe we go where we want to go to. Where we want to go to? We believe you go to heaven, you go to heaven. You have never seen anyone going to hell before. When a person dies, you don't see their ghost going up. For all you know, the ghost could still be here. But the Bible says that it's appointed unto man. But the Bible was written by man. So man could be lying. Who told... You said the Bible was written by man. Yes, or God wrote the Bible. What? Okay, so let's imagine Jesus Christ appears here. What is some of the things you're going to ask? Ask him, why didn't you avoid human beings from creating sin? Why are you against sin? Why is hell there for the first place? Why can't you confront them in heaven? Why should hell be there if you have all forgiven? All forgiving should never... It means you have a lot of questions for God. He, the thing is that he, he's not there. And he won't be there. Who created you? My mother. She gave birth to me. No, Adupa, you didn't get my question very well. Who created you? I believe through science, human beings were born, not created. And if human beings were created in the first place... I never got to see God as my father or God as my mother. The only person who cared for me is my mother. She buys my clothes. She buys my food. She pays my fees. She does everything. God doesn't do anything for me. And if I'm supposed to stand here and say he has done something for me, I'm supposed to ask. And I say he gave money to my mother. He never came and said my mother should collect the money that he's giving to But me. it was God who caused people to buy from your mom's pub and restaurant. But if I go and ask those people and I say, is it God who called them? They will say no. People are poor and they are praying 247, but they are not getting anything. Then it's not God. Find a job and stop bragging about God. Now God is, even if he's there, crazy, at his place doing something. <laughs> it's looking for food. Oh, he, no. He, he, if he cares so much, he'll make you successful. People never pray to God. Ah, and they just got money out of a containment hole. People got money for working. You have never, I've never in my life heard that this man sat down and just kept on praying for five years. And at the end of the day, he, he got money. But you can hear that this guy worked hard in the government. There are people who pray and they have a job, but it's still not going on. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. 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 The link to the full video is in the description. You can go and check it out. Now, Ms. Bell shared the interview, the uh, link to the interview on her Facebook. Her Facebook has over 800,000 followers. And this is the caption that she wrote. That was 21 hours ago, as, as at the time I'm recording this video. 
I beg, don't be hard on him at the comment section. He is just a kid, 10 years old. Click on the link to the full interview. Just a Miss Brown knows how people are in the AAE on, on social media. So already she is preparing people's mind that don't be hard on him, he is just 10 years old. And at the same time, people ask that, so you know he is just 10 years old. And you allow them to interview him and ask him such questions. And when you finish watching the video or when they finish editing it and they send it to you to cross check or whatever, you agree for them to upload it. And now you are telling people to be easy on him. That's what people will say. But uh, the person who interviewed him you know, is somebody that has very close ties with Ms. Bell. And I'm very sure this is not the first time he's having a conversation with this kid. They've had conversations off camera and he finds it very interesting the kind of things that this young boy says and now with the permission of the mother he got the boy on on the podcast to talk about a lot of things now from the interview this guy is obviously very very interested in technology he kept saying ask me questions about tech about tech about tech i've wanted to be on a podcast and i'm going to say every piece of knowledge i know about myself and about this and about the tech I'm waiting for. Please ask me any question I'll answer. <laughs> Just not any boring question. You don't want boring questions. Yes, I want about tech. Tech. Technology. Oh. But the questions about tech didn't come. It's the questions about the religion that came. Maybe part two of the interview will come where to feature the tech AAE questions. But anyway, no. Moving on. Now, when Ms. Bell posted this, a lot of people in the comment section shared diverse opinions. Somebody said, you are just a kid and just don't know what you are saying. May the Lord Almighty have mercy on you. Somebody said, may God have mercy on you. Somebody said, it's sad to see a child being led astray. He doesn't know what he is talking about. I pray he comes to know the truth when he gets to a matured age of accountability. Somebody said, wisdom, gradually, gradually, he will be free from the, uh, from those man-made doctrines. Okay, somebody said his mother has led him astray. We all live to see. Somebody said, I see wisdom in this boy. He could become a great person like Marcus Mosea Gavi Jr., um, Kwame Nkrumah, Bantu, Steve Biko, and others. May our forefathers protect him lead, uh, and lead his footsteps. Okay, somebody also said, thank you, young champ for spitting the bitter truth. May the gods of the land and the ancestors bless and protect you always. Somebody said the young shall grow. One day he will come to know the truth. God will use um, his same boldness and intelligence for his kingdom. Let's give him some time. Somebody said the ancestral root is the best. Now you can see from the comment section is diverse. Some people agree with him. Some people don't agree with him. Now, Ms. Bell shared some of the things, especially the, the comments and the posts that she agrees with. Then she will share it. Now, these are some of the posts that Ms. Bell personally read and shared. This is the first one. Somebody said, Ms. Bell, you have created generational thinker, I swear. And Ms. Bell shared it so that the 800,000 followers, know, they will see. Okay, Ms. Bell shared this one too. And this one said, people introduce their beliefs to their children and it's okay just because it's Christianity or Islam. Ms. Bell did the same by introducing her beliefs to her son and soon to her daughter and y'all are going haywire. Chill guys. And this one too, Ms. Bell shared it. That oh, so um, when you were born, your parents told you about Christianity because that's what they believe in. And that one there is okay. When you were born, your parents told you about you know, Islam, taught you about the Prophet Muhammad, taught you about Allah and all that. You know. And you're okay because it's Christianity and Islam. But somebody is also teaching her, her children you know, traditional beliefs and not believing in the Bible and the Quran. And that one there, people are shouting. <laughs> and this one, Ms. Bell shared it. Okay. Now, another one to someone says, someone shares his beliefs and you have, you have a problem with it, saying the boy has been indoctrinated. 
you have also been indoctrinated to believe in your beliefs or in your religion. Just say, somebody, the boy, what he's saying, or people are saying, oh, your parents are leading you astray, nene, nene, nene. Now you that you also believe in what you believe in, no? what shows that you have not been led astray? And this one too, Miss Bell shared it. So Miss Bell is indirectly telling you. Indirectly. Let's <laughs> 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 just say all these things, the Miss Bell only and call no but somebody has said it. If she if, if it were to to um if she got only if she <laughs> 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 She agrees with these things, that's why she shared it. Okay, goddess, if you are Miss Bell, keep, um, keep your eyes on the boy. So yes, and she shared this one too. So in all, Miss Bell is very proud of her son, obviously. She's very proud of whatever her son said, and she, she doesn't have a problem with it. Because at this point, you know, everything that she has shared on her pages are all in support of her teaching the boy what the boy said and also begging up the boy for what he said. So at this point, maybe the, the owner of the child or the mother of the child agrees with him. So why are you shouting on the internet? <laughs> uh, why are you shouting on the internet? It's very interesting that um, one thing I admire about this boy is that for his age, he is very articulate. Forget about the content of what he's saying. His command over the language and his boldness to say certain things and the way he answers the questions and all that. You know, that's what I admire about him. Because this is not the normal Ghanaian upbringing. The normal 10-year-old Ghanaian boy is very timid, especially talking on camera and expressing themselves freely. The normal 10-year-old. But this new boys and girls know more about the Gen Alpha for no. After the Gen Z, the Nkolanko and the Gen Alpha. Oh, a Coco Melon baby is no way. The Coco Melon baby is no. They talk a lot because they've been watching all these cartoons and a Ben 10 will be talking and a day, 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 pyjamas, day, day. They talk a lot. So he's very bold and you can see from the, his speech, you know, that this guy is very intelligent. Now maybe I'm, I'm just waiting for the part of the interview where they ask them questions about tech. Because the boy, he, he was very interested in tech. But he was being asked questions about religion. Probably because the interviewer had had conversations with him prior to the, you know, on-screen interview and knew the kind of things that he usually talks about um, concerning religion. That's why the line of questioning went this way. By the way, I just want to hear what you will say about tech. Share your views in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Aye. And also, let me know what you think about what's going on. And watch other videos on this channel. Tell somebody about Headless. And I don't know. Yeah, then. Yeah,